Good day friends, Maloma here and today I am going to show you everything you need to know about managing your plugins within Lord of the Rings Online. Now I want to start off by letting you know that yes, plugins is completely acceptable, it is completely normal and this might be new to you but it is a way for you to customize your experience within Middle Earth and help your time make be more enjoyable there. So let's go ahead and hop on over to the computer because I got a couple of things to show you. How do we access our plugin manager? The quickest way to do so is to go to the up carrot here, click on that, then go over to systems and you go over to plugin manager. Here you will see a list of all of the plugins that you have loaded into the game. Now you can load and unload all of them and selectively pick which ones you want. So for example, say, I, I know I'm on my hunter here, but say I wanted to load mini raid and I would click on mini raid and then I would click load and now mini raid would be an option to me. And the way that you access mini raid would actually be to type in slash mini raid options. And that will bring up your mini raid options and then you can go from there and edit it however you want. I will be doing a separate video in coming weeks about how to use mini raid in case you're interested. Then what you can do is you can automate say which characters you want this to load for automatically whenever you log in and you will find a list of all your characters here so that you do not have to go through this load step every single time you load into the game. So that's a nice little feature. But how do you get these programs loaded into Lotro to begin with? That's the big question that we're going to answer today and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. The first thing I want you to do is go over to any browser and you're going to type in Lotro Plugin Compendium. It should be the first one here on your list, but if you click on that, it'll take you over here to the Lotro inter interface slash downloads Lotro Plugin Compendium. The way you know that you are on the right one is that you see this image here on the right hand side, which is Lotro Plugin um, Compendium. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to hit the download button and you will see it will download down here. You will open that up and once you open it up, you will see that you have here double click on the setup file and then just go through the steps and it'll execute and install this mini um, software onto your computer. After you've installed the plugin compendium, you will see this icon on your desktop called plugin compendium, compendium with a ring. Now you're going to double click on that and that's going to open up your Lotro plug-in compendium. Now when you first log in, you will find that there is nothing here, which is to be expected because you haven't loaded or installed any plugins yet. And you can come over here to add new plugins. You can type for the name and then you can just select whichever one you want. Um, I'm just going to select Fisherman here for an example and then you can add it. And then you will have to restart your Lotro client in order for it to be effect, but you can see now it's loaded Fisherman in here. If you no longer want that one, all you got to do is click on it and hit the remove button and it will remove it for you as well. So this is the easiest way to load those plugins in and remove them from your Lotro interface. Now, from time to time, the developers of these plugins will push updates out to the community. And when you do and you log in, this will be highlighted red. And then all you would do is just click on it. Let's say I'm updating my school timer. And all I'm going to do is select it and hit update. And it will update it. Or you can just update all of them 
click the top there, update, and you can see it's just running and updating all of them for me. And that's really all there is to it. Now you might be wondering, okay, so what kind of plugins do you want to use? And this is really going to be based off of what it is that you're trying to do. So all of these plugins can be found in my Lotro setup. So um, I'm just going to walk you very high level quickly through the ones that I use all the time. On my Hunter, I use Combat Analysis. What that does is it just tells me the amount of damage per second that I'm dealing out. It also tells me the amount of damage that I'm taking per second, as well as the amount of healing that is being done to me. That is really super useful information if I am trying to figure out what is going on in a raid and where I need to adapt. Loot Logs is also really, really cool. Um, loot logs is a way for you to be able to see exactly what quests you have completed on what characters for any given week. So you can see here, I'm on Good and Bad quests. I've done 16 of the 20 weeklies, one of the six instances weeklies, and I have completed zero raids on these characters this week. And you can, um, it also tracks your hidden horde completion. So here you can see in my Hunter, I've done tier one and tier two bosses of Hidden Horde on tier three this week. And so it's a very quick way for you to just, if you're running multiple tunes, or even if you have one tune and you're just not sure, have I done this this week or not? Just pop into your loot logs, take a look, and then you'll know because you don't want to run stuff necessarily if you already have locks on that character. You can also view the information per character, which is super nice. The only downside to this one is, is that they still don't have a brawler icon, but that's to be expected since the brawler is a new class. Mini Raid I use all the time for healing, and I will be doing a separate video on Mini Raid in the coming weeks to take a look at that. Mouse cursor is what I use to set up this blue circle around my mouse, sometimes in the heat of the battle. I might lose my mouse and so this blue circle really helps me to let me know where my cursor is at in case I lose it. Prime plugin is also very useful for rating because it allows you to um, have alerts pop up in your face. So for example, if you're standing on a puddle, there'll be a pop up. If um, you have a bleed on you, you know, that'll be a pop-up. If there's like mobs chasing you, there'll be a pop-up. And so you have all these alerts that'll show up on the screen to let you know um, what's happening without you having to rely solely on what is in the chat window. Skill timer is useful because it allows you to set up and optimize um, any cooldowns on your classes. <laughs> so for example, on my Hunter here, I have Penetrating Shot. It's a 10 second cooldown. And so after 10 seconds, it'll throw up a pop-up on the screen to let me know, hey, I got to remember to use that skill again. So if you're trying to optimize your rotations or anything like that, that is really useful as well. And I'll be doing a um, training session on that one in the coming weeks. And then the last thing, one that I haven't selected here is Deed Tracker. If you're going through Middle Earth, you know that we have a really long deed log to slog through. And sometimes it's just hard to see, you know, what you've done, what you haven't done. So if you loaded loot Deed Tracker like I just did, you can see that it can help you keep track of everything. Now, it's best if you start using this from the get-go. But other than that, it's unfortunately you've got to go look in your deed log, look at the Shire, figure out, okay, have I completed this? I've completed Brigand Slayer coming over here and selecting it. Um, you would pretty much have to do the same thing if you were downloading the entire list from, say, Lotro Wiki and then manually trying to do it. This is just in-game, and once you start clearing deeds, it'll automatically update your deed tracker. It's just the initial setup that can be tedious depending on how far along you are on your journey. And so that is my top five 
um, plugins that I use and how to use the plugin manager. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. This show is possible because of your support and encouragement. Become a patron and get access to more amazing content and see your name here in the credits. Thanks for watching.